So here we want to compare two Gyokuros. One is a high quality and one is a lower quality Gyokuro. And what I want you to learn you here is really that you see or that you spot for yourself a really good Gyokuro. So what is the main difference if we look at these two Gyokuros? The higher you go in quality um, is also there is a high quality Gyokuro which is a Samidori uh, Gyokuro. This for example we have here. This Gyokuro as you can see it is a really fine, um, fine Gyokuro. It's a really fine Gyokuro also with fine leaves and very finely rolled leaves. You can, uh, you can see it really that this tea has a strong, strong darkness to it, but it has a very beautiful green color, um, really showing you the life. It is also kind of a shimmering in the light. This is also a high, uh, a sign of high grade or a lot of theanine in this tea. So it, this tea nearly gets, gets a little bit sticky when you take it in your hand. Um, it has really a little bit this wax feeling. This is what a high grade Gyokuro is made of and really you see here the strong beautiful color. This Gyokuro, this is one for example which I bought in a tea store here in the region and uh, what the lady said me that actually uh, organic Gyokuro is not very good in quality. And you can see that really farmers have different levels. So the one here from Mr. Sakamoto and this one here is also an organic Gyokuro. And what you can see is really the struggle um, Gyokuro farmers have as Gyokuro is very, very difficult to keep below the shading, like the 20 days of shading. Here you can really see um, that this tea got a slight fermentation to it. So uh, the farmer wasn't able to keep the Gyokuro on uh, this very green, beautiful level, but the tea is a little bit fermented um, due to the brownish color, which you can see. So one thing you really have to look at is like this beautiful green, dark green color um, in a good grade Kyokuro. Meanwhile, this one here, for example, it turns a little bit into the brownish segment. So it's, it seems to be slightly fermented. In addition, what you can see is also, you really get this, uh, the, the leaves here, the bright leaves like this one here, or a good, good example is this one here. So you got stems also in this Kyokuro. So these things um, can also add a little bit of a different flavor, give, give the tea a little bit of darker notes and taking away the sweetness of what Gyokuro is known for. So also here we can see in, comparisons to, in comparison to this, when we just take this tea here, where, when we just look for it, so there are no stems, there's some teas a little bit brighter, but in general there are really no stems in this tea. And this is um, what you have to look for if you buy a high quality, a high grade Gyokuro, so that you really have this dark color um, um, of green and not kind of uh, brownish color. But let's just have a look how this looks like when we brew the tea. So you already can see when you look at uh, the color, like this one is to real the Mr. Sakamoto um, Gyokuro. What you can see that you really have a beautiful greenish color, bright green, shade green color, also called the shade dew. And here, for example, you can see that this Gyokuro um, also is much more brown, showing brownish color, brownish colors in the water. And here the leaves are also a little bit bigger. I assume this is a Yabukita cultivar, so the normal cultivar, but as I said, you can have a beautiful Yabukita cultivar, uh, Gyokuros, but it's not the way or not the plant, uh, the cultivar which is used, but finally the skill of the farmer, which decides on the quality of the tea. So let's just pour this one in as well. 
after a little bit more than one minute. So you can see that there's a green color to it, but it also has a little bit of a yellow when we pour this one in. Here you can clearly see the difference. So this is very important. When you're looking for a fermented tea, this here can definitely be uh, a solution, but as a Gyokuro, it is really important that the green color, this shade green is very dominant in this, like in this tea and shouldn't be in this way. Um, what you can see here is also that it's a little bit cloudy, so you really see like the high content of the amino acids in the tea here you have it much less it's a little bit of a brighter color um, a lighter color so this tea also in the same amount of time doesn't seem to give um, the same uh, strength also to the water